Heidi, good evening. How are you? Juliana, good evening. Hi, teacher. Oh, good evening. Hi. Fine. I just, sorry, uh, I was taking a phone call for my boss. He was in a, an event and it's already finished. So you, he called me just for tell me, very well done. Oh, was good. You know, yay. Okay, well, but, at least. Yeah. But fine. My day, good, mm. same routine as always. <laughs> okay, okay, well, I mean, it's, it's something very, 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 very important to, to fulfill the boss expectatives, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what about you? How was your day? Uh, you know, let's see, a little bit higher. But the thing is this, that, uh, give me a second. The thing is this, that last night I didn't sleep quite well. What? Last night I didn't sleep quite well. And I mean, I want to sleep around one something. So I'm like a little bit tired, mm -hmm. but no big deal. Okay. So you had a good day today. Yeah. Well, uh, in the morning, uh, I had a couple of meetings with my boss as usual. And I, I had a, a, a little paperwork. Uh, in the evening and well we were working in this thing of the the event that that he had in the crown plaza and well everything everything gets well gets well yeah, yeah. everything gets well and i'm happy i'm happy mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. The thing is, man, these people from the university are driving me nuts. Because I'm still in the process of Okay, so. No, it's okay. So. So you had an event, you told me, right? It, well, my boss and, and the, the, the um, I forgot, how, how do you say, um, no, the company, the company in general had this event uh, that was a private event. And well, we were working uh, in a couple of details like the speech and something, some things like that with my boss. And with the this girl that she helped us in in the um, relaciones institucionales, Interstitial. like interinstitutional relations. Yeah, yeah, we were working with her in in these things of the speech and the presentation of my boss and and you know the, that kind of, of stuff. And the logistic is is a part uh, another uh, persons that that they 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 were uh, working on the logistic, but us that this girl Claudia and me just uh, we were working with my boss in that the speech and details like that. Okay, well. Uh...
it's very, very, very important to, to fulfill all those activities. And as you said, you know, the devil is in the details. Yeah, details are very important. Yeah, they are. And as I tell you, there is an old saying in English that the devil is in the details. That means that, I mean, the good things or the bad things, yeah. uh, they depend on, on details, actually. Yep. Okay, well, let's yep. hope tomorrow is another good day for you, my dear. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you very much, Elena, for being here. Thank you, Tonight teacher. We're going to talk a lot. Thank you. <laughs> OK, teacher. My pleasure. Sorry, guys. It's just that I'm letting know some people that if they don't connect these three days, they're going to lose the course. And believe me, that's it is tough because you can, if you lose it, you cannot take it again. Okay, it's done. Let's see. Hmm. Anna Claudia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I don't know if it's my internet connection or what, but you here so far away. Let me check out if they think that they were messing up with my microphone. Let's see. Maybe. Uh, what about now? Oh, it's better. Thank you. Yeah, it's just that my son was doing something. No, but now it's better. <laughs> Yeah, he was working on this computer like a half an hour ago. Oh, and man. Hey, you know, drives me nuts sometimes, but kids are kids. What can we do? <laughs> I mean, it's too big. I cannot give him up in an adoption right now. <laughs> okay. So, so I have to, you know. Deal Ooh. with it. Yeah, I have to deal with him. Yeah. I mean, that's what I was telling uh, his mama the other day. Man, it's a problem that we cannot give him back. <laughs> They're too expensive. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> yeah, but as I told you, what can we do? What can we do? I mean, that's life. <laughs> So tell me, what about you? How's everything? Everything is okay. It's very well. I'm just uh, retaking my task, my daily task again as usually in a normal way while the system is still working in updates with my profile and all the issues that I had last week. But it's working better. It's doing better. And then I'm uh, recovering. Uh, some cells that it was supposed okay. they will be closed last week and uh, finally well thanks god the customers they didn't purchase with another person they've been waiting so we could complete all those cells uh, today but i'm still missing it to uh, uh, to reach my my goals, my one hundred and fifty percent goal. Mm -hmm. I'm working okay, on it. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, because I mean, extra bonus is always good, right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so and, just... and the way and the way you take it is simple. And I mean, for you, the bonus is to look for it. It's like mandatory, right? Uh huh. That's that's right. Yes, and when you achieve. And you reach the 150 percent. There is a bonus of uh, 300 dollars that you you get when you are there. Yeah, I know, I know, man. It's uh, well, as you said. I mean, 
that's something that it's good to look for because you know it's extra and it's gonna help. Oh, exactly, it's an excellent bonus. Yeah. Well, for you, do your best. Yeah, thank you, teacher. We're gonna be like cheering you up. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> appreciate it. Okay, we're gonna be um, sharing rooting. Up. No, rooting for you. Rooting. Yeah. What is rooting? Um, okay, the expression is like this. Mm -hmm. uh, let me text it for you. Uh, rooting for you. Like this. Oh, okay. Rooting for you. Mm -hmm. That means like a cheer, it is the same as cheering you up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just that it, it's more colloquial. You say, oh, we're, I'm rooting for you. That means that I'm, I got your back. Excellent. Well, I got your back is like uh, uh, supporting you. With, yeah, but it's like more literal. The person is like right there for you. Ah, okay. okay? And actually, not a lot of people say, I got your back. Most mm -hmm. of the people say, I got you. Mm, no, but I heard I most of the time I got your back. Mm. Yeah, but uh, I mean, some people say I got you. Ah, okay. And I'm talking about colloquially, colloquially. Okay, mm -hmm. the formal is yes, I got your back. Mm. Okay, that's that's another level. I mean, it's not full formal, but it's uh, like this more it's colloquial, like but it's like involved in support, wise, right? It's yeah, involved like, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like uh, streetwise is I got you. Mm, okay. But that's okay. streetwise, okay? Mm -hmm, okay. And and like when I say I'm rooting for you, I mean I got your back is a whole different level because I mean the person is gonna be with you. Exactly. Okay? But when we say uh, 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 will I'm, be, rooting? Uh, I'm rooting for you, that means that I'm here, my home. But I keep you in my mind, and I say like, "Hey, let's I hope Claudia makes it up." Exactly. Ah, okay. Okay. I hope the good vibes goes for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I send you all the good vibes. I don't think got I got it. that many good ones, but whatever I got <laughs> is yours. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> got it. Okay, that's the that's the idea for uh, mm -hmm. rooting. Okay. okay. Got it. Understood. Thank you. Yeah. You know, it's just that there. Are, those are some words that it's funny. Mm -hmm. You know, I know mm -hmm. them, uh, but I don't. I mean, usually when I'm teaching, when I'm teaching at uh, uh, lower levels, mm -hmm. I don't usually have got the chance or the opportunity to use them because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not because I don't want to share them with the students, but I don't want to oh, make it too complex for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. I mean, because. Because when, well, I don't know if somebody here was with me in the basics. Well, when I got the basics, I emphasize on the base, mm, on the, exactly. because that's the most, the most important, important. aspect for learning is, yes, exactly. if you got a good base, the rest of the courses are going to be easy for you. But if you ain't got not a good base, man, mm. oops, sorry. That thing I just did is not supposed to be said okay no don't worry it's okay okay you know that was my that's the problem i i sent to you all the goodbyes and i got the bad ones so. <laughs> okay uh, yeah because i use streetwise you can speak like that mm -hmm. Man. like yeah i ain't got no reason to but that's a double negation mm -hmm. it's totally <laughs> inappropriate <laughs> Exactly. Because the most appropriate would have been like, let me see, I don't have any reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But here, even if you notice, even my, my, my pitch changes when I get like that. It's like when I hear, because, you know, we talk with all kinds of people, customers sometimes, and you identify when you're talking with the Black people and <laughs> when you're talking with, <laughs> with the rest. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know, no, I, mean, I know perfectly. I know perfectly. That is what I want to tell you that you make the difference. Yeah, and you just made the difference that the the 
the vocabulary, the expressions. I was using were not the, yeah, they were like, man. It's a comma for me to hear, you know? It's okay, but it's okay. Yeah. Man, do that thing ain't no okay. good for nah, nobody. Eh. <laughs> um, I miss to hear that sometimes. It's so funny. Yeah. No, the thing is this. Uh, actually, to be honest with you, today in the afternoon, I was speaking with, I was talking with a friend of mine. And, mm -hmm. and actually, uh, well, his first language is English, and and I mean uh, we used to we used to ride along for a long while, oh, okay. and uh, and I don't know whenever I get with them and I start talking to them, I don't know why I get back on those exactly. on that that wow. type of vocabulary because I mean for a little while I mean I was like spending time with them like uh, every single day, mm. so I mean. That was part of my regular vocabulary, exactly. even though I was ill at that time. I was also teaching, but I mean, uh, I used to you were young. speak it. I mean, exactly. yeah, there was I a was young, dumb, and yeah, another environment, another time. I know, I got it. Uh, oh, so you went back Anna to the time. <laughs> yeah. So Anna Claudia, always a pleasure. Pretty <laughs> interesting you, talking to you. Thank you. The same. Let's see. Let's see. I remember Heidi was here from the beginning. I couldn't talk to her. Heidi, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm ready. Okay, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> you see, I changed my whole my whole attitude talking to you. You you are good for me. I need for to really? get more serious. Yeah, whenever I speak with you, I get more serious. That's cool. <laughs> it weighs. Hello, it? Heidi. I don't know. I mean, that happens with some people, even if, even though if you feel like uh, confident to talk to them. I mean, you feel like on a on a safe and uh, a normal environment. I mean, I don't know if it has happened to you that there are certain people that with whom you you become perhaps more formal rather than with others. And sure. that hap that happens to me. Sometimes with my students, I mean, if you have noticed, depending on with whom I'm talking to, uh, I change a little bit. And it doesn't mean that I don't feel comfortable talking to you. It's just that, I don't know, it feels different. I mean, uh, I will feel weird talk to you like, uh, like, uh, like, like I was speaking. <laughs> Yeah, in a way, you know. well, you got me, Claudia. You got what I mean, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's, hey, why it's just it? a, I don't understand. I don't is it that you know. see me like an old lady or something? No, of course not. Is the the level maybe? No, no, no. No, it's because he imagines it's, it's, like, it's your so vocabulary. Mm -hmm. It's your vocabulary. Your speech patterns. Are more formal than Anna Claudia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anna Claudia's got, I mean, if we talk about level of English, we are almost in the same level. Mm -hmm. But the pattern of speech is different. Mm -hmm. So when I speak to her, even though we get into some serious stuff related to the language, uh, we do it in a more informal way. Mm -hmm. Your speech patterns, Heidi, perhaps for your environment or what you do on a daily basis, is more formal. Mm -hmm. And even if you are at home and even if you are in a relaxed environment, you keep on those speech mm -hmm. patterns. So, and I relate to that. Because mm -hmm. actually, to be honest with you, that's, that's, relaxed, that's, <laughs> yeah, sort of in a way. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But you, you catch my drift, I, Yeah, you see, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with that expression. Kind of. I mean, yeah, if I say you catch my tweet, that would be like, do you understand me? And that uh, that feels better. You see, it's it's just sort of different. It's like you know, whenever I start talking with uh, uh, Maria Alejandra, Maria Alejandra, for example, hi Maria Alejandra. She's uh, I I still see her as a little kid because I mean hi. we we got back. You see the different stages. Hmm. No, but we got back with her. I mean, uh, when I was teaching, when she was studying high school, I was teaching at that school. Oh, really? Yeah. 
And that's funny in my case because uh, that happened and the other day I was talking with a, with a student, with a former student of mine. And I told her, well, she's like 26 and she was with her mm -hmm. husband. And I was like, oh man, it's funny because for me, uh, you are still the little kid I met. It doesn't change. And that happens a lot to us teachers, believe me, because that happens quite regularly. I mean, I'm perhaps in the supermarket, I'm at the mall, and sometimes I get to see former students that, and they are grown up and with their own kids already. I mean, I've been at this for like more than 20 years. So uh, when I get to see them, I, I talk to them like if they were little kids and then I take it back and I get like, man, they are grown up already. They got their families, they are professionals, but it's difficult. Okay. And that's the thing I tell you. With you, I feel, I feel uh, like um, I feel comfortable talking to you, but in a formal pattern speech, which is a whole different story. As I told you, with Maria Alejandra, I get like, uh, like she's the little kiddo. I knew her when she was in high school. It's so different. Mm. Okay. Okay, got it. You got it. Oh, my gosh, I'm like, oh, you always get me in trouble, you know? I had to make a long explanation. Oh, lovely. Gee. Shame on me. So, Heidi, in the end, okay, okay. how are you? How was your day? My day was great. I asked I asked my auditor how, how the evaluation was going, and he says he expects to finish next Wednesday. And, and how do you say tendencia? The tendency. The tendency is is that we are going to get a good grade. So I feel much better. Okay, good for you. Well, good for you and for your collaborators, right? <laughs> for the whole team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, actually, it's very important to recognize that fact. That is, I mean, when you are talking like that type of, of, of activities, I mean, they don't depend just on one person. Okay. But they don't de depend on one person, but if one person makes things bad, it affects the whole group. Yeah, the whole group. Uh, and yeah, me as a representer. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's complex, right? Complex. But I'm used but to this. Know, and it's part of the it's part of the fun we can say. You you know when I was uh, when I was assistant branch manager once I had a, a, an evaluation with zero 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 um, zero mistakes or I guess goes. Oh really? Issues, a perfect issues. score. A perfect score. Only I have I have gotten perfect score only once when I was assistant branch manager. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, never seen before. Ah, that's cool. I mean, it's cool and it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, if you did it once, they expect you to, 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 to reach uh, every single day for that and more. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, been there, done that. But, uh, well, actually, the, the, uh, the place that I met, uh, Maria Alejandra, that happened to me once. I mean, I used to, the thing is this, when I arrived there to teach, I I mean, I have spent like five years like speaking every single day with, uh, with some American fellows, I mean, living with them. And so my, 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 my level of English was not bad at that time. And, and right when I arrived there, the, the evaluation, the evaluator, came from Miami and well, I was the new one. So she went straight to me and, and I was pretty good evaluated, but that set me up that my boss told me, okay, you were pretty good evaluated and she praised your job in front of the board uh, of the school. So that means that for next year, you have to do, to make it better. And I was like, man, yeah, uh, you have to, I mean, you constantly have to, live up for it exactly always a higher level Excuse yeah me. and 
even though it's good, sometimes it becomes kind kind of a of a burden, you know. Mm -hmm. You get that you get that word burden, burden? yeah. Uh, carga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Becomes, yeah. I mean, I, a type I of a burden because you have to be constantly aware that everything needs to be good. It's true. I remember the time that I got that grade. Uh, 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 auditors from City Argentina were going to come, and they sent them right with me. So. And uh, yeah, as we were saying, it's a big compromise. Mm -hmm. And no, not that good to do. I mean, <laughs> the situation is this, like uh, a person in my position, I can I can run a, a low profile. Mm -hmm. In your position, you cannot. No, no. It's no, it's the, bad, it's the bad thing to be good. Yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah, I get used to it. I get yeah. used to it. And it's part of the excitement in mm -hmm. the end, right? I mean, life will be boresome for you if you were in stress all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because yeah, when you live with a certain level of stress on a, on a daily basis, I, things start changing suddenly, like no attention, no, nobody pushing you. I mean, it feels you know, weird. I, I always think that I don't want to retire because oh. once I don't have this activity I have right now, I don't know what's going to happen to my brain. I have seen oh. so many cases. I don't know because I, 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 I spend a lot of time in movement, thinking, finding, deciding, and I don't want to retire. Really. Yeah. Don't. You're gonna be like me. We're gonna be taken out of our job fit first. <laughs> I have you know thought, that expression, I have, guys? I have had that thought several times. Fit first, con los pies por delante. Mm -hmm. So Dale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey Heidi, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too, teacher. Even though I'm a cloud that did. Even you though, did me dirty, yeah, she did me dirty. Even though you make me feel like an old lady, it's not Oh, the, come oh, on, come my dear. <laughs> Don't be so mean. You see, Ana Claudia, this phrase is for you. <laughs> you did me dirty. You did me dirty. Hey, that's good. I'm going to write it down. <laughs> you did me dirty. I mean, I don't know how to express that in Spanish. Hmm. Or you use that expression when you say that somebody like uh, sets you up in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. When somebody sets you up in a bad situation, uh, you change, say, change, change. Uh -huh. Yeah, you say, you did me dirty. Como me hiciste ver mal. Yeah, but it can also be used in a in a different context. Like, I mean, uh, you trick me into something. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Can also be used like that. Like, mm -hmm. and you trick me into something. You mm -hmm. me okay, let's see. No, it's safer for me talking to guys. Let's see. Where's where's uh where are you guys? Wilfredo, hello, good evening. Nice talking to you. Come on, Wilfredo, answer back. Hello, teacher. Hello, my friend. How are you? So far, it's a good teacher. It was a That's really good cool. day. Yeah, because I began to work at uh, middle of the day. At noon. At noon. Uh-huh. So that was really relaxing day. Oh, really? So how many hours did you work? How long was your shift today? Uh, just five. Uh, I have to work nine, but mm -hmm. when one, no, I have to work 10, but with one uh, lunch hour and two breaks of 15 minutes. But today I only began to work like 12, I guess. Yeah. 12 How come? Or, yeah. And How come? How come? 
Yeah, how comes? Uh, uh -huh. ¿Cómo así? ¿Por qué? Uh, because my computer was was damaged. All right. Yeah, and I have to bring it yesterday to the company to fix it, and they gave me the computer until 11 a.m. And that's why I work until that they hour. They gave they gave it back to me. They gave me back to me the computer. No, they gave it. They gave it back. They to gave me. it back to me. Yeah. Until or you can just say, until, or you can just say, they gave it back until noon. Uh huh. So that's why I have to work until that hour. Ooh, my gosh, I am so sorry. I will interrupt our conversation just for a second, my friend. But I need to get the attendance. Okay. I was so excited, you know. Getting out of the mood I was in with these ladies a few minutes ago that I have forgotten. Okay, let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Amber Eli Alparo Gomez. Amber. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Nertali Mendez Torres. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Canis Escobar. Present teacher. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Thank you, Present. Jacqueline. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okie dokie. Well, let's continue. So, Jose Wilfredo, tell me, how's everything? So, teacher. That was the reason that I began to work at noon. Okay, well, then I, I that... just have to I have to set up a, a lot of tools to that we daily use. That, that's it. Okay, well, it was a busy day. It was a easy day. The good thing is that you have, I mean, perhaps not a long time to, to rest, but just, you know, waking up without the pressure of having to get connected and start working. I mean, that's that's good, right? Yeah, that's a good advantage for yeah, the position. Sure, sure, sure. Well, Jose Wilfredo, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thank you to us. Okay, guys. Oh, before I continue, let's see. Henry, I texted you in the Zoom chat. Uh, Francisco, I texted you in the Zoom chat. And the same goes to Susana. Well, let's see. Frank, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Where Tell are me, you? are you suffering like us <laughs> here with this heat or are you enjoying and good weather? No, sadly, I'm, I'm here in San Salvador. <laughs> oh, I'm, my su God. I'm, I'm suffering as you. Yeah, it's terrible. You know, I got the fan right in front of me, and I even yeah. I'm getting like a headache. It's too hot. It's too humid. Yeah, also. yeah me too. I, I had the, the fun with high velocity, but isn't enough. <laughs> yeah, high speed. 
high speed. Yes. Yeah, you know, good thing is that we are not in a swamp land like uh, imagine we were like in New Orleans or somewhere like Miami. It's even worse than here. Yeah, because it's imagine. hotter and more humid. Oh, talking about hotter and more humid, we're going to ask Francisco later about his case because he lives in a hot place. Yeah, yeah. It's the, uh, I mean, Francisco's weekdays are totally the opposite of yours. Yes, yes, of course. How is the, the weather in those cities that you mentioned? Oh, well, when it gets hot, the problem is not just that it's hot, it's humid. It's humid. The level yeah. of humidity is high. So, I mean, you, uh, how can I explain that feeling? You feel sticky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, for me, that's terrible. I hate that. Yeah, it's very uncomfortable, right? Yeah, well. And you know, uh, that's the problem with some states, like uh, in some parts of uh, some parts of Arizona or Texas, man, there's when they when it's get hot, I mean, it's dry. Yeah, and that's the complete opposite. Man, opposite. that's also <laughs> terrible. I mean, breathing is hard. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to breathe. Yeah, that's why I, I, I don't like the heat. <laughs> to be honest yeah. with you, it's just that I don't enjoy the heat. A lot of yeah, people like neither. it. But me you neither. know, perhaps I think, I'm thinking that uh, as I'm getting older, I'm going to be like having <laughs> to learn to enjoy it. Because right now, you know, it. it's nice. I can feel the, I start feeling the storms on my bones, you know. Yeah. It's going <laughs> to get cold. Everything starts hurting. The knees, the knees. Start well, to, yeah, to <laughs> yeah, I got one that that acts up like that. I got one knee that is like, ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, but I think this one is good, it's a bad quality because the other one is the same and it's good. But that's happened to, to all of us suddenly, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, time doesn't forgive nobody. Yes, of course. So, are you going back to Chalatenango any of these days? Uh, actually, I haven't gone um, since since the last week uh, for different reasons. One of them because I sold my finally I sold my my car. Okay, that's do you, cool. you, do you remember that? I I have been trying to to sell it. Yeah, yeah. I remember you told me. Yeah. So I finally I I sold it, but I okay. And which is gonna be the the new car? I'm thinking of that. I need a a car uh, for work, right? So I try to to look with patience. Look okay. At, with patience and. What are you looking for? A uh, sedan, uh, uh, SUV. Yeah, I'm thinking like an SUV, a little more for countryside. You oh, know? okay, okay. I am I am thinking about uh this look. Let's see. More sturdy. More sturdy. Yeah. More sturdy. Sturdy. It's like yeah. um, rustic. Robusta. Robusta. Oh, robusta. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what you're looking for. I mean, something that can really stand the the, yes, the heaviness yes. of the of your job. Yes, I'm trying to look for some, some like that. Uh, I, I really want like a pickup, but it's very expensive. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are. Yeah, they are pickups expensive are expensive. Right now, so. 
And actually, so, you know, the, 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 the consumption of gas for pickups is like, wow. You spend yeah, a lot even, of petrol and you spend a lot even of gas. If it's, even if it's diesel, it's very... Oh, yeah, yeah. still. Well, if it's diesel, it's, I mean, it's a benefit, but parts are more expensive. Yeah. And if you look, the, the diesel is like the gas right now uh, about the, the price, right? It's very. Yeah, it's just that uh, diesel supposedly is more efficient. I mean, it yeah. lasts longer. Yeah, some people say it, right? It depends yeah, but... of, the, of the model of the pickup yeah. the car yeah right? because if you got a big truck i mean <laughs> anyways you're gonna spend a lot yeah 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 of course so i i want to to buy but i want to think in very good because yeah. i don't want to no quiero apresurarme i don't know how to say i don't want to rush it okay i, I don't want to rush it with that so I'm I'm on that. Yeah, well, let's hope you can get something good. Good hunting, man. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be careful. You gotta be pretty careful yes. with numbers and stuff. Man, you need to. Otherwise, yeah. you can get into a trouble. Yeah, of course. Yeah, once it happened to me that... Uh, I bought a car, they have just changed the engine and I had to make a lot of paperwork and movements and, <laughs> and I sent a friend to do something for me once. They lost all the paperwork of the engine. Man, it took me My almost God. one year. It took, yeah. me, took me almost one year <laughs> to get the paperwork on my name, under my name. Man. Yeah, I imagine. I mean, it's a, it's a haggle, it's a haggle you don't need. Um, Do you know that word? Haggle. No, I never yeah. heard it. Okay. Uh, it's like, uh, usually when you use the word haggle, Let's see. No, but it's not high the one we need here. Uh, I'll try to remember the specific term because Hagel is more like in the in the area of uh, uh, regatear. Okay. Yeah, but I'll try to remember the term. I had it in tip of my tongue and I just slipped away. That happens sometimes. You know, with all age, this new girlfriend I just got, her last name is Alzheimer, you know. It's getting on me. <laughs> hey, friend. Nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Well, you know, uh, even if I hadn't explained it since the beginning, tonight is speaking class. So we're going to have fun. Just conversation. Let's see. But I still got uh, a, a few more minutes. Well, now it's safe. I can go back to ladies. Let's see. Uh, Roxana, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Ah, just Good fine. Evening. Thank you. And you? Well, you know, here, same old story. Well, working, I like... working. Let's see what else. Yeah. Working. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, we just got two things to do work and spend the money. Okay. Well, in my case, it's the same. I was working hard today because I needed to check a lot of things previous to my, to my closing. Okay. Ooh, and I, next week, right? No, it's the first week in the month. But, after, but before that, I need to check a lot of things because now the company is apply, are applying some... Um, no sé cómo unas mejores okay. existen. Now, your company or the other companies? No, my company. Okay. Yeah, you have to say the company. Okay. The company is because you said are. Is, okay. Is applying. 
Well, the company is applying uh, some improves in the system. Improvements. Improvements in the system. And I need to check that the data is okay. So I need, I have some uh, requirement about that. Okay. So I have a lot of work. The, on the other side, this week it's, it's weird because it's a hard week. After the vacation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. To, to start, I mean, to start back again with the same rhythm is not kind of easy for you. Yes. Yeah, of course, okay. you, were, you, were, you were partying all week. Of course, it's going to be difficult, my dear. Yes. But in general, everything is okay. It was a productive day. And I think that the rest of the week will be a productive and you know I need to uh, organize my uh, schedule because um, I have uh, I have some uh, homework to my son and I need to support him okay now you don't need to support him you need to help him yes just I help you don't need to yeah. say to support in this case. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, well, let's hope everything turns out okay for you. And I mean, you can keep on helping him because yeah. uh, to be honest with you, there's gonna be a time when your kid is going to tell you, mom, you don't know nothing about this. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, they the thing that. is that the, in, the, in the school is, um, a little difficult because he is online all the time. And I need to explain or um, my father try to help him with some topics, mathematics, for example, and English and something like that, you know. It's a little weird and um, aburrido, borrowed. Boring. When uh, he is in class all days, because uh, sometimes the teacher can use the microphone well. So we heard some, or we heard part of the explanation, and the rest I need to support him and I need to help him. Okay. This is the, the bad part. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to make a, a pause with you, Roxana. So sorry. It's just that uh, I just got the word that I wanted to tell uh, 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 Frank. Uh, when I told you, Frank, that uh, I mean, I have many problems and what you don't need to have is the the hassle. Hassle. Hassle? Okay. Hassle? Hassle. Okay. Nah. Hassle. Hustle. Hustle, okay. That's an irritating inconvenience. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. So you don't, you don't need to deal with the hassle. That's the okay. meaning. When you say that, you're saying a uh, irritating inconvenience. Okay. Okay. Got molestia. It. Si, si. It, could, it could be understood as this. It's molestia. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, Roxana, it's just that, you know, the word came back to me. Okay. Oh, you will hate my mind. Sometimes, I mean, when something gets stuck that I'm, I'm looking for something, I mean, I'm talking like I was talking to you, but in the back of my mind, it was still running, running, running. Yeah, I and I know. Your mind was working on that. You know, sometimes my mind wanders. Overthinking? No, you know that? Do you know Wonder. that word? No. Yeah? Okay, when you say that something or someone uh, wonder... Uh, ah, the ambula, hmm. the ambula. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometimes my mind wanders around, you know, <laughs> uh, which is not good when I'm driving because Sometimes yes, it, it's not good if, if it happens to you when you're driving. 
Yeah, I imagine. Well, the last time I was driving in the, um, I, near to Molsa, and I forgot yeah. the uh, uh, semáforo. How do you say semáforo? Uh, the, the traffic light. The traffic light, and I passed. Yo pasé, no sé. Yo solo pasé. I passed by. Yeah. I passed by. And the light was red. Oh, really? Yeah. The thing is that my mind was, come on, my mind was wonders. Wondering. Wondering, yeah. So I was thinking in a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It had happened to me a couple of times, you know, but <laughs> I'm thinking about some other stuff and then I realized like, where the heck am I? Yeah. It's not good. This is El no. Salvador, it's not good. <laughs> yes. Hey, Roxana, nice talking to you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Well, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know why people is like traveling me with this. Okay, we're gonna do something, guys. I I got a couple of questions. We're gonna start with the questions, and we're gonna be working in groups now, but. Uh, the questions we're going to be working with are very simple. The first one. Have you ever appreciated a sunset? I mean, you can watch a sunset every single day. But most of the time, we don't even notice, right? I mean, yeah, we know. Oh, it's going to get late. and It's almost night. But to really appreciate a sunset? Were you alone or with someone? And the last question for this, where were you? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna have that reminiscence in our minds, okay? I need you to talk about that. Think, take a, a couple of seconds to think and to remember, where were you? When was the last time you have, you gave yourself the chance to appreciate a sunset, because that's actually what you do. You give yourself the, the chance to do it. So when was it? Did you enjoy it? Who were you with? Okay. Now let's see. Okay. Groups are created. Five minutes for this activity. Let's talk.
Fernando. Okay, Fernando, I will send you to group number two. I was with my family in one place watching a landscape and we were on, we were driving we were on a ride and we were driving and the car and watching the sunset. So I was with my family. Where were you, sorry? Uh, we were in the on a I will you la yes. ruta panorámica yes ah okay yeah this, that is the last time i appreciate also because we leave the place around 5 p.m and you well in you? my case the last sunset that i view that i watched that i watch i watched it was in the 31 31 de diciembre seria 31st 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 on december the other and way around december the 31st december the 30 the, sorry december the 31st Yep, and I, were, I was in the Tunko Beach with my best friend. And we were talking about a lot of stuff and spent time. And I think that it, it is the, the last sunset that I appreciated. Okay. I have been in a lot of uh, places, but now to watch the sunset. Sometimes you don't uh, take the, the time to, to appreciate the sunset. No, because, uh, for example, when I visit some places in a uh, weekend, uh, I usually went to market, uh, mall, sorry. And the other, the other, and other times I visited, um, Volcano places? Lugares en el volcán? No, places at the volcano. Sorry? Places at the volcano. Places on the volcano. So the sunset, the sunset is very different in that place because you just watch uh, the change of the, the change in the event in the, ¿Cómo se dice cielo? Heaven, heaven, heaven. But it's totally different when you are in a beach place, for example, because you can appreciate appreciate the sunset very well. Yeah, it's better to watch it in the beach. Uh, though in the volcano, as you say, you, you can watch the whole landscape, for example, in Mm -hmm. or a volcano, you can even watch the, you can see the, the Lopango Lake and yes. all the city. Yes, For me, but both places different. are. The sunset is very, very different. Okay, yeah, it's, it's very beautiful to me in that, in both places. But I think in the beach is, it's better because um, you can see the, the sun go, go down. Yes. Okay. Very interesting. And sometimes and, when you are uh, doing that, uh, that the stuff, that things you always, or for me, I'm always are, um, I'm eating something, drinking or eating something. 
Un cóctel, un ceviche. Drinking what? Drinking what, what, what? water or uh -huh, yes, sure. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or yeah, no comments. <laughs> So for me, the best place to appreciate the sunset is the beach. Yeah, either you what know. about on the top of a mountain? Sorry? What about in the top of a mountain? Have you ever? Top of the? Of a mountain. Mm, I usually don't visit that place. Oh. Me neither. I mean, I'm more like a fish person, but believe me, it's better. you need you need to give yourself the chance to do it. Okay. And something that I will recommend you, I mean, you travel a lot, look for a place where you can watch the sunset on the top of a mountain where you can see the sky and the ocean down below. That's okay. beautiful. That's an experience that you will always treasure, believe me. And, and here in El Salvador, what place do you recommend to your kids to see the ocean here and be in the top of one mountain? Here, well, here uh, I, I used to visit the town called, I guess, Tupan. In La Libertad. Mm, okay. Beautiful view, believe me. I mean, you watch the mountains, you watch a lot of mountains on this side, you watch the ocean right in front of you, you mm. look the other way, you watch the sunset. I mean, it's for me was perfect. The most perfect experience. And on a fresh environment. Yes, it's the best part. Yeah, of course. Ah, uh -huh. finish, ladies. Wait, yes. don't. Yep. Yep, teacher. Okay, let's go back. Let me just let everybody know that 60 seconds and let's go back. We're just waiting for everybody to come back here. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, teacher. I don't know why I like pronouncing, stressing the R. Tell me, Rebecca, eh, have you ever appreciated a sunset? I don't remember exactly, but I think. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yes. As I told you last time, my my first house is in the camp so i remember in the countryside that, uh, in the countryside in the countryside okay it's yes, in the countryside so i remember that when i was a child i liked to to be in front of the window and see 
see around and I remember that I, I saw uh, I saw songs that okay. Ooh, nice. Okay, so in your cases when you were a kid, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> now let's see. Uh, uh, uh. What about you, Stephanie? Have you? Yes. Okay. Yes, I remember that the last time, I think that was the last time, <laughs> it was the last year around November when I have my vacations. I went to the beach and you know that you can appreciate a very good sunset in that place. So I were with my family and I saw the sunset. It was so beautiful because like I was talking up with my partners, you can see the waves, the sea and the different colors for the sunset. That was the last time that I remember that I appreciated sunset. Yeah, you know, honestly, I was just talking with, uh, I don't know, I don't even remember. I guess it was Marcos, was it? And Roxana? And I was telling them, you know, it's lovely because she was telling me, and I guess most of you concur. <laughs> most of you concur. Let's see, I guess it's like this now. It's concur that watching the sunset uh, by the ocean is cool. But I was telling her that for me, for me, for me, the most beautiful experience is to appreciate a sunset on the top of a mountain, but this is the funny thing, on a mountain where you can see it down below the ocean and right here on the side, the sunset. Man, yeah. that's beautiful. That's completely yeah. I don't beautiful. have that opportunity to see the sunset in that way, but maybe someday. Yeah, yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful experience. Well, 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 thank you very much. Now let's see, Heidi, what about you? Heidi's all the time working. Tell me, Heidi, when was the last time you appreciated the sunset? Uh, let me see, in January. Okay, January. That was vacation for you? Uh, my husband came to visit us. Mm. He took you out? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's nice. Where was it? Playa Dorada. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Sonsonate. Yeah, yeah. Nice beautiful place. place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, sure. That's cool. So you have good memories of that moment. That's nice. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Let's see, what about Francisco? Francisco's got a very weird schedule. Hello, Francisco. You around? Let's see, today is Wednesday. You're going to work, you home. I never get you. Uh, uh, at work, teacher. <laughs> at work. <laughs> You see, I can never make up your, your schedule. So what about you? When do you appreciate the sunset? Have you ever appreciated a sunset, like at leisure? Uh, I uh, talking with my partner. Uh, I don't remember uh, when the... When was uh, the last time? The last time, but I like uh, watching the, the, the songs. I uh, talking with a uh, well, uh, in Acajutra, uh, there is not a many place to uh, or, or a specific place uh, for watch the, the, the songs. But for watching, the, for watching. But in the, the, the future, uh, the town uh, hall uh, is thinking uh, uh, building a, a viewer. Uh, oh, really? uh, yes, uh, is it possible that uh, this year uh, began the, the, the project? But mm -hmm. uh, 
usually in my my case i watch in, i like to watch in, uh, my with my family uh, the sunset okay okay yeah just oh mm. let's just give me a second i am like there's one word that you use that yes it's okay but uh, it's not like completely uh, viewer no in this case it's not viewer it's a viewer is the person okay what you mean oh, is okay. a lookout a lookout look out yeah a uh, lookout um, mirador oh, okay teacher thank okay, you that's no problem no problem yeah you know it's cool it's cool because i mean that's one word that i have never thought that i was share with you guys and we had the opportunity nice nice okay now i got a good question guys uh, this question is gonna be funny, okay? Because uh, the question goes like this. Have you ever done something silly that you wish you had not done? Hmm, let's start thinking. Have you ever done something silly, something, something silly is it's not something stupid, okay? It's something algo tonto, okay? Like, uh, oh, I'll give you an example. I was 15, yeah. I remember I was 15 and a friend of mine, a classmate of mine asked me for help, something in his house and I was like, cool, let's go. I arrived to his house and he was like, oh, he was cleaning out the garage and we were gonna I will, he wanted me to help him also paint the, the, the backyard. It was a big house, and uh, his house. And I was like, sure, let's do it. And when I was going to the backyard, I remember there was this big glass door. And right at the moment that I was passing by, I was gonna get to the to the glass door. His, uh, 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 his sister came out of her bedroom. Man, she was gorgeous. And I remember looking at her and I was so, so concentrated on looking at her that I slammed my face on the glass. Man, it was so embarrassing, totally embarrassing. I mean, I remember like for six months, I didn't, I never set a foot on his, on his house because I was so ashamed. So that's something silly that happened to me. Let's talk about it, guys. You will have five minutes to remember whatever. I mean, remember, it's having a conversation, okay? So don't worry, let's do it. Let's jump in. Groups are open. He was near to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well. Embarrassing. Yeah, really embarrassing. 
So you, I guess you weren't talking good things about her. Yeah, <laughs> that the pronoun, so that, that is like, uh, whoa. It, it was yeah, my, well, my first impression, but I like, I mess up mm -hmm. at the same time. But at the end was good because I established a conversation, but at that moment, so that when I did that, so it was like uh, embarrassing. So believe it. You were bad mouthing. Ah, la normal. No, so in a good, like a good way, because oh. it was a girl. So I, oh, that, that's even worse. That's even worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, for us guys, that's yeah. so embarrassing. You're really embarrassing. So because yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I really wanted to make a good first impression, right? So, mm -hmm. but I, did, I didn't realize that that girl was behind, not behind of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but so my friend were you, were you something. Were you kind of infatuated with the girl? Uh, kind of, because basically, so my face changed immediately and also, so I was not able to say something. So I, I was like in shock. <laughs> yeah, no, what yeah. you mean? But but the thing is that my friends, in order to help me out, they start saying something. So and and then I, I, I was going with the flow. So but at the end, so I realized that that girl was behind of me. So it it was like, mm. a, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's terrible. That's terrible. Do you know that word, guys? Infatuated? Do you know the word? Infatuated? No. Oh, well, to be infatuated is um, to have a, an admiration for someone or perhaps mm. a, a, a short lived passion. You know, that happens to us guys a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that happens when, when we are young, we guys, that happens to us a lot. We see a girl and those are like five minutes uh, love. Yeah. That's to get in love like for five minutes. You, you look at her, you get like, oh my gosh, she's yeah. gorgeous. She's nice. And you, you get like, like you even imagine some things and then next day you don't see her that's that was yeah. it that's to yeah. be infatuated and yeah believe it and hi claudia to us guys that yeah. happens really? quite regularly wow yeah. it's it's normal in men it's normal <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good yeah something something i don't know i'm still thinking <laughs> Something embarrassing? Really? Well, you know, something else that can be is that when you are looking at somebody that you really like or that you really want to impress and you treat, mm. that's horrible. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. That the hands are sweating, right? So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's horrible. That's completely horrible. Oh, I just remember once. <laughs> oh. I got this one. Uh, as I get used to communing and going every day from Santana to San Salvador, uh, I remember I always got my alarm, alarm yeah. uh, to wake me up at 3.30 a.m. But always I have a second one for five, the next five minutes. <laughs> I think one day yeah. I was so sleepy that instead of turning off the, the alarm, mm. accidentally I dialed to my boss. <laughs> Say <laughs> what? I dialed it. I dialed it to my boss. I call my accidentally. I press on. No. Oh, oh, <laughs> really, you did that? Yes. Yeah, and when he answered, I just got up and that whoops, stand up from my bed. Oh, I was so embarrassed when I. I came. <laughs> so I your boss I, was really a good alarm for you. No, Mama, <laughs> really I, wake I, you I'm up. Sorry, with my boss, and he was at the time he was an old man, 
for he was like 65 years at the time. That poor old man was sleeping. <laughs> my God, you can see my 3.30 a.m. Since that Say day, what? I, I 3.30 a.m. Um, Since that day, I always, always take care of that just Oh my God. Of my yes, it was so embarrassing. It was silly. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. Poor man at 3 30 in the morning. Yes. Imagine yeah. his wife next exactly. to him. Right is Anna <laughs> Claudia. Who's this Anna Claudia? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. exactly. Anna Claudia. You that was so embarrassing. So silly. <laughs> yeah, you no, were, you could remember one too, Ileana. You were an, an unwilling homebreaker. <laughs> homebreaker, yeah. homebreaker. No, Gosh. I'm not receive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens, you know. <laughs> Ileana, do you remember uh -huh. one? Mm, I remember you? one. Okay, was... I'm going, I'm going so she can talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, I was at the university mm -hmm. and I remember that I I was with my, with some friends at the cafeteria, cafeteria. Mm -hmm. and uh, I remember that, that that was a guy that, for me, that he was uh -huh. good looking, you know? Oh, yeah, it's interesting. I'm not leaving. But, but, but you know. <laughs> Was the, the the kind of guy that today I, I don't like that the type of guy you know that um, that guy he 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 smoked he smoked uh, and and mm -hmm. stuff like that I don't know why but I like him. He was so, the bad guy with the with the group of the bad guys. <laughs> Maybe that. Uh, so I was. Uh, I, 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 well, you know, Iliana, who knows? Those guys become me. I'm formal and serious now. I've been married like for 20 years. Oh, you, my, you were a bad guy. Yeah, the university. I was in the corner with all the wise, the guys who were smoking, who didn't attend to all classes. What? We were like, yeah, we his were hair. the black sheep. He always says his hair. Yeah, I was wearing long hair. I was smoking all the time with a cup of coffee, a cigarette in this hand. It was a kind of hippie, uh, Yana. No, <laughs> no, no notebooks. I never, honest, I never took one notebook to a class for the whole university. Mm. Sometimes I used to carry a, a bond page of paper just fold on my pocket. My I was that guy. I was that guy. Believe me, I used to wear sandals. One day I used to wear sandals. The other day, uh, uh, some rotten uh, jeans and boots. Mm -hmm. And you see, we become very normal. <laughs> sort of in a way. <laughs> Well, yeah. people change. <laughs> yeah, believe me, believe me. Life does that to anybody. Life and age. Mm -hmm. And what happened to you, Eliana? Okay, Were you so, uh, Yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. On, keep on. Continue, continue. Let's don't worry. I was with, with some friends, and, and I I remember the name of this guy. His oh, my is... gosh. <laughs> He was that was not the, a fling, Ileana. He was kind of crush for me, mm -hmm. really. So uh, I just, uh, I remember that I, that I was talking with, with my friends and and I said, mm, this is my opportunity to talk to him. And that, I just got up, got up, I think it's okay, yeah. got up. I just got up and my sandal, I started walking and my sandal <laughs> just clack. Right. Ouch. <laughs> and, Ouch. Uh, oh my god, I just remember that and, and I sweat again, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you were like, air, please open and swallow me. <laughs> oh my god. Something like that. And was <laughs> like, oh my god, that just happened to me. And did he yeah. look at you? Yeah. Did he turn to you? Yeah, absolutely. The cafeteria was not too big. Oh, 
so, so of course he noticed that you had that accident. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good impression. Uh, yeah, so. very nice. I mean, I, I am sure, Iliana, you wow. made such a deep impression that up to this day that <laughs> I remember. <laughs> But I just said, I just think right now, Roberto, whatever you are, I buy good shoes today. I can pay for good shoes today. <laughs> My God. Well, you know, well, you know, this this part of the class is being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, Heidi. Oops. I guess somebody's having problems with the microphone. Let's go to the main room. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hmm, Heidi, you got your microphone open. And I was going to ask you about the city situation. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not. Now, I got a different question for you. Because, I mean, I... I know that those situations where the conversation was fun, I, at least the groups that I had the opportunity to share with, it was fun, but it's not something that we're gonna share. Okay, now, you're a very serious person, so I want, I'm want i wondering, I, I wanna know if Heidi's got a bad side. Have you ever given a false excuse to get out of something you didn't want to do? Yes. Is there anyone that you wouldn't mind sharing with us? Mm. One one day I felt really tired, and my 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 sister invited us to to go out, and I and and I said something different that I was tired because if if I would have said the truth, she would have. Got mad at me. Okay, yeah. And with relatives, I mean, sometimes we don't want to hurt feelings, right? Yeah, that happens. That happens. Thank you, Heidi. Now, next question. Let's see. Next question goes to who is it going to be? Man, I'm still missing some people. Let's see who. Hey, Roxana. Roxana. Hi. Look at the question. Have you ever forgotten any of those people there's uh, birthday? All these birthday. Your moms, your dads? Yes. Well, I remember the husband. mom's birthday because she is, uh, his birthday, her, her birthday, her birthday. is in... April 24th, and my birthday is in April 28th, so it's so near. Yeah, it's about, uh, yeah, it's around the corner now. Yeah, that's the reason why I don't forget her birthday. But the rest of the birthday, to be honest, I have a bad mind, and I don't remember all that. I oh, use yeah. Facebook for that. You know, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook give a it, reminder. Yeah, it reminds you, yeah. Yes. And I hate when people hide the birthday. Uh, yeah, the birthday. Yeah, the, 
You don't like it when they hide it. Yes, I don't like. But yeah, to be honest, you have to I remember. remember that takes. Okay, you are not even worse than me. I mean, you at least remember your mamas. I don't know my moms. I don't know my dads. I don't know my one of my sisters. One well, my brother. I don't know my wife. So. Don't worry, Roxana, you are not alone in this. Thank you. I just try to um, yeah. think in important uh, holidays. For example, my son, how did he born. Was born. born. Was born. Was my born. son was born. And May 9th, one okay. day before the Mother's Day. So I looking for a holidays or something like that to, to remember the date. But to be honest, it's complex. Yeah, because in my case, I don't remember when Mother's Day nor Father's Day. I don't even remember when Teacher's Day. Okay. I am bad. I'm screwed. And thank you, Roxana. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ada, what about you? Tell me, Ada. Have you ever forgotten your mom's, father's, uh, husband's, or one of your kids' birthday? Mm. And or I you're guess, good for remembering dates? Uh, then my mother, my father, my daughter. <laughs> my... You remember all of them? Yes, sure. Okay. It's very important. Important is uh, the my friends, my preferred friends. Oh, I remember no. very, very, very you even, good. Do you even remember your friends? Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, you know. Well, that's why sometimes I gotta sleep on the sofa. You know, I'm so good at those. Thank you, Ada. <laughs> nice. Thank you, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh. Osmin, what's this mean? I haven't talked to you. Hello. Hello, teacher. Tell me, what about you? Have you ever forgotten uh, a girlfriend's birthday? Mm, no, really. I have a good uh, memory. That's cool. So you don't, you usually remember the everybody's birthday? Yeah, but I have like, uh, I don't know how to say it. Uh, when someone so don't remember my birth my birthday, so I don't usually celebrate that the birthday. So I think that is if he forgot or she forgot my birthday, so I will the same. So I have that so like but habit I can say. Okay. I usually remember those, those birthdays. When someone is like important to me, so I usually remember. Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, now let's see. Eliana, I need you to look at the Zoom chat. Okay. Person, you really hate it? Okay, Ileana, uh -huh. I need you to ask one of your classmates those questions, please. Okay. Fernando. Fernando. Good evening, hello. Hi, Fernando, Hi. good evening. Hi. So, Fernando, have you ever received a present that you really hated? Uh, mm, to be honest, and sometimes, but I don't tell to the person because it's a present. But maybe it's not uh, until hate, only don't like. Okay. Never happens to you that, that someone uh, gave you a present and you said, I hate it. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. nice. So, I don't know, teacher, the same question for another? No, the follow-up questions. Okay, but he doesn't he yeah, ever receive. 
but uh, do you, can you remember one of those things, Fernando? Can you name one? What was it? Uh, for example, a uh, pink clock. What? A clock, but uh, oh. the, the uh, I don't know, the, the bow part is pink. And pink? you know, see, yeah, pink, black and pink. So by by the way, I I I can I can show you. <laughs> yes. You still have it. <laughs> That's part. You don't like it, but you still have it. <laughs> oh my yes. god. Yes, it's the present. So. Ah, it's that's in nice. Your, your package. That's so, nice. But it and... doesn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask you who gave it to you? Uh, my nephew. Oh, okay. My nephew gave it to me, but I don't, know, I don't understand your, your sense of um, moda. His sense of fashion. Sense of fashion. His sense of fashion. Sense of, yeah. sense of fashion. Ah, okay. I don't understand that. So. But it's a present I, I, I have in my, in my desk and when when she asked me, yeah, I I say her that I well, uh, uh, sorry, you I still have it. One, yeah, I still have it, but one day I I will wear, I will wear it. Okay, thank you, Fernando. <laughs> okay, uh, Frank. Yes. Tell okay, me. Frank. Hello. hello. Have you ever ridden a horse? Ridden. Like ridden. Okay. Horse. Have you ever ridden a horse? <laughs> I try it. <laughs> Once I try it. Yes. <laughs> how old? But, uh, yes. How old were you when you when you ridden the horse? Mm, not too old. I remember that it was when I studied at like a uh, college is uh, like a, yes like a una escuela técnica um, mm. I was studied I studied dirt in, in Diana I don't know if you know it okay and that was the first time you read in a horse no no it wasn't the first time but it was the last time for sure <laughs> <laughs> for sure because why because i can't i can't ride a horse so i try it at that time but i fail <laughs> oh i failed in <laughs> yeah it was very uh, was too was too bad yes it was very painful because i i fell uh, out of the horse <laughs> because uh, as I said I, I can, fell off I fell I fell off uh, because I said I, I can ride a horse so I was trying to learn but I <laughs> and and where were you where where uh, where were you and what place you you uh, you had that experience I, in that in that school I don't know if you ah, know okay, about, okay. about La Escuela Nacional de Agricultura here in El yeah, Salvador. Ena. At Ena. Yes, at ENA, yeah. yes. So yeah, it's, it's fun to ride a horse. Yes, it's very fun. I can, for and, sure, I, I can't ride a horse. <laughs> well, you know, uh, the bad thing was that you didn't get back up on the saddle. Yeah, because, yeah. Uh, that helps. That helps. And, and you know what? I, I yeah. was trying to ride it without without a seat. Ooh, chair, chair. Without it, yes, yes, of course, yes. Without a chair, in, yeah. In a horse is a chair. Yeah, that's a whole different story. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> I, I mean, I have ridden horses a lot, but never like that. When I was well, I used to when I was young. Right now. I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, I saw. Thank you. I, yeah, no, tell me, tell me, tell me. 
I saw a lot of uh, partners write it on that way, so I I was trying to to do it, to do it, but I I can't, I couldn't. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you, Frank. Thank you, Liana. Thanks. Thank you. Hmm. Heidi, you ready, Heidi? Heidi? I guess not here. Well, no problem, no problem. Let's see. Uh, 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 um, Jose Wilfredo. Tell me, teacher. Okay, no, I'm not gonna tell you. Look in the in the Zoom chat, please. Got it? Yes. Okay, please go ahead. Ana Claudia. Have you ever thought of something funny and started laughing out loud in the presence of another? Oh my God, I've got a question. What type of question is that? Uh, something funny. Well, sometimes I remember funny things that happened to me, but um, I try to do not laughing loud <laughs> oh no I, I i i remember funny things but not really no no not making too much noise mm -mm. not laughing a lot mm -mm, no <laughs> no maybe because uh, now with the mask <laughs> we can like uh, keep that as a secret with us Maybe if we remember something, there is a smile, but we can keep in. Ay, como diría, guardar la postura, no sé. That situation. Keep your cool, keep your cool. Ah, okay, keep your cool. But I think it's because using mask is a, a great tool, <laughs> great help. Okay, thank you for the to share with us that information. Thank you for asking. Okay, now guys, uh, now I'm going to give you a set of different questions. I'm going to give you four different questions. Okay, you're going to be working in groups again, but each one of you is just going to answer one question. Okay. Be sure that it's different, that you don't repeat the questions. So the groups are going to be top four members. The questions are this one. Have you ever hiked? hiked? That's to do this on the streets. Okay. Have you ever fainted? Have you ever been mugged? Well, Mug is when, when somebody comes, get a knife on you and take your stuff. Uh, oh, sorry, the last one was not for you guys, but uh, forget the last one, just the three, the first three questions, okay? Because the last one was not for you, I'm so sorry. Okay, now groups are open. Now, remember something before you jump into the groups. If you notice the questions we have been asking each other, uh, they are using the structure, have you ever? So the questions in your answers, you've been answering like normal, like uh, sure, yes, no, but remember, uh, it's better if you follow the structure. Have you ever hashtag? No, I have never. Oh, yes, I have. I remember, then you explain, but remember, if you answer affirmative or negative, because these are uh, these are just no questions, all of them. So 
you need to answer. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Or no, I have never. Okay. And then the explanation. Be always aware of that. It's very important that you use the proper and the correct structure. It's going to help you to be more fluent. Okay. So let me just do a little fix up here. Okay. Okay, groups are created, please jump in. A brain. <laughs> uh, Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Okay, teacher, we're going to start with you ask, asking the question. Sorry, what? Oh, you're going to ask me? <laughs> oh, was a yogi teacher. No, why not? Hey. Ask me. Okay, have you ever hatching? Uh, how Hitch. we pronounce Hitch. how Hitch. I can okay, <laughs> I don't know what's the meaning be... of that. Oh, to ask for a ride I on the street that... with your finger. Oh, really? Ah, okay, okay, yeah, that's that's the meaning of the word when you stand up by the side of the road and 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 you start like pointing your finger like this, hoping ah. for somebody to. Give you a right. Get a right. Oh, yeah. Okay. And how but you that's... pronounce it? Okay, that one, man. I don't know why do uh, why do I get this type of words for you? <laughs> okay, <laughs> the proper pronunciation. Let me see. Just let me picture the the, the phonics. Hitchhike. Hitchhike. Hitch, 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 Super Have you good. ever hitchhiked, teacher? Hitch. Oh, let me see. Mm, yeah, sure. Uh, I told you guys the type of guy I was. <laughs> so when I was, I mean, gee, there's just a few things, very few things in this life that I have not experienced, my friend. I've been around a lot. So yeah, sure, I used to with some friends. I mean, we used to spend all the money and like fooling around and sometimes we were like, hey bro, how are we gonna do? I mean, we cannot, we don't have for a cab, no, not even for a bus. We didn't even have for the bus fare. And um, we used to be like, well, let's hope somebody was all right. Yeah, I mean, they're done that. Okay. And and so, you was and you Jose Wilfredo, have you ever his his height? No, I haven't. Okay, and you Ana Claudia? Yes, I remember once with my best friend. She's a teacher, and she works in Metapan. 
So the transportation, some, well, a few years ago, like I'm talking about 10 or 15 years ago, transportation wasn't too easy like nowadays. And we were hitchhiking. <laughs> oh my God, hitchhiking uh, uh, in the highway uh, in order to return to Santana at noon. Uh, she was used to do that every day in the morning and at noon. So for that, when I was with her, she was expecting one of his friends that she made during those years while she was hitch, ay, que palabra, hitch hiking. Hiking. Uh -huh. uh, he will be there. And in fact, that happens. Uh, one of those uh, gentlemen, uh, good persons, they gave us a ride and we were uh, hey, you you were ladies you were girls yes it was like 15 years yes but she was used to do that like 20 years every day so during that time she met a lot of people she met a lot of friends not alone she was always keeping an eye backing her friends up too and and taking care of her and they were always traveling in group they were five girls and they travel together none of them alone five were high high hitch, hitch, I think, hitch in the morning, and five girls were hitch hiking at noon they were always taking care of each one now she drives her car has no longer that problem. <laughs> okay. And you, Susana? Uh, no, I haven't. haven't. Okay. What about you, Liana? Mm, no, I haven't. Oh, you know, it's not the same thing, Susana. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> <Not this>. <laughs> 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 because like she goes like no way Jose you know no I'm, way. Kidding, I'm kidding I'm kidding no. <laughs> you know I I don't know why tonight I've been sticking my foot in my mouth all night long <laughs> no that man happens to, that happens to me when I don't sleep you know I get to <laughs> actually to be honest with you when I don't sleep that's what happens to me. I get like too junky. Mm, okay. And last night I went to sleep like around 1.30. Wow. And I couldn't sleep. And I was up at 5. No, come on. No. And the funny thing is this. I'm not sleepy. Mm. Oh, my God. No, come yeah. on. And whenever I get like that, I get like junky. I don't know why. Yeah. Teacher, yeah, like, let me ask yeah. you. And, and when... Is suppose that we are going to start our next course? Do you have an idea? Like a well, date? did you send the paperwork? Yes, of course. Uh, well, the paperwork so went uh, before vacation, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, just give me a second. I mean, are we getting like around a week for rest? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Most probably you get a week or a week and a half. Ah, okay. That is what I wanted yeah. to know. <laughs> yeah, just remember that. I mean, uh, uh, the thing is this, uh, the, the procedure, they need to register the, the course. Ah, okay. They need to register the course and the, all the people that is enrolled to INSA for INSA for needs to approve. Mm. To okay. approve the, the, the people, uh, the students, and the teacher. I mean, because they check out that I'm registered, that I got all my per paperwork ready. Mm. I mean, because okay. my certification, they check out on the system my certification. They check out if I am assigned to a group. I mean, 
what happens to any teacher? They check out the, uh, the evaluations of the students. Oh. And it's a lot, it's a big, a whole lot of, of, of stuff that needs to be process, right? done in order to open up a group. Yeah, it's crazy. And, and it's the same for closing. So this week, this coming week, people is crazy there. Mm, okay. Well, at least uh, my brain is going to rest early <laughs> next week. Yeah. Good thing, good thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go back to the to the main room. Yes. Okay. Hey. Okay, guys, well, sorry. Uh, I hope, I really hope you have enjoyed this class as much as I did. Uh, to be honest with you, it was very interactive. That's something good. You were participating a lot. And uh, I think all of you have the chance to share and practice and talk with your classmates. That's awesome. And that's actually mm, the idea of the of the course to make you speak, to get you in situations where you are able to speak, to share with your classmates. That's, uh, that's well, that's my goal, to make you speak. And I think we are we are achieving that goal. And believe it or not, time's gone. But before we finish, just to remind you guys, I'm sorry to, to make those announcements uh, like every single class, but it's, I mean, in my case, it's mandatory for me to do it. And actually, they have asked me, perdón que pase el español, me lo piden que lo que lo haga de esta manera. Recordarles que la asistencia es muy importante. Estamos finalizando el curso. Eh, algunos de los acá inscritos necesitamos hasta el último minutito posible. Así que, por favor, eh, estas dos clases que nos quedan, Muy importante que estemos conectados. Recordemos que la última clase igual, pues tenemos la encuesta de satisfacción, la cual vamos a desarrollar nosotros juntos acá en el aula. En un momento de la clase yo les voy a comunicar ese día a qué hora lo vamos a hacer, porque siempre hay un chico o chica de soporte que nos acompaña. E igual, la información que necesitan yo la tengo ese día a la mano lista para poderles ayudar. El trabajo en la plataforma... Ya me comuniqué con algunos, creo que me falta un par de mencionarles que todavía nos faltan algunos detallitos. Eh, por favor, si no lo hemos terminado, pues avancemos. Si, si tenemos dudas, ya saben que con gusto les ayudo. I guess that's all. Sorry, I'm sorry for speaking in Spanish, but that's, uh, the, 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 that's the order they give. So everything is said and clear, okay? So let me get the final attendance, guys. Let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. 
Heidi, Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present, teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Chasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Hey, guys. Thank you very much. Expect to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Enjoy. Rest. Thank you, teacher. Bye, everybody. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Well, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see.
Well, times up. So tomorrow, guys.